Now, Teddy, I swear, everything you said that was going to happen happened to a T. To a T. I mean, if you would have put money on it, you would have won a lot of money. What did you think about Canelo's performance? Pretty much what I thought would happen. You know, that that uh, Khan would get ahead by following the blueprint that, that is out there, like Lara did and like Mayweather did. Movement, speed, outside boxing, keeping more balance, being a bigger, stronger guy means nothing. If you can't get set, and if you need to get set to punch, Canelo needs to get set to punch. Uh, he couldn't get set to punch the first five rounds. Kept him off balance. And uh, for me, it was a whitewash for, for Khan. But like I said, Khan always makes a mistake. Always. Always. And his mistake, and I don't think a lot of people are really, really hitting on what he did wrong. He started to throw a left hook. Why are you going to start to throw a left hook in front of a guy who you know is, is dangerous for you, is, is stronger than you, a, a guy that, you, that you're beating on the outside with your reach, with your speed, with your movement, and then all of a sudden you're going to stop and you're going to start to throw a left hook. Well, he always makes mistakes like that. He stopped, he started to throw a left hook, and to the credit of Canelo, he was set, and he caught him with a straight right hand, and he even set it up a little bit. Again, I don't think everyone saw that. He, he, what he did was Canelo started to move over like he was going to do something over here. Bang! And he threw the right hand. And that little bit of a subtle movement over here, you know, it sets the punch up. It takes your eyes, in this case, the eyes over here, Khan's eyes. It takes his eyes over here. Boom! And then he throws the right hand. And like I said, the opening was there because Khan did this. He, he was just starting to throw a left hook. As he started to throw the left hook, left himself. The punch came over here. The right hand came straight in. And, um, you know, they're going to make, you know, we're, we're going to make Canelo into a monster now. Again, not everyone loves the truth, but it's pretty simple. I mean, he, he did a good job. He caught him after losing the first five rounds, but he's not a monster. But listen, I'm taking nothing away from him. I mean, he, he scored a sensational knockout, and he deserves to be celebrated for it. But he... He, he did what could be expected. If I could say it was going to happen, then, then it must be, you know, it's something that shouldn't be that much of a shock. That, that the smaller man was too quick for him early on, but then once he hit the smaller man, the smaller man's chin betrayed him. You know, a chin that's been knocked out twice. A chin that's not, you know, not that great. And, um, you know, but to his credit, he was ready to launch that punch at the right time. But something that isn't good. <laughs> Is, and I hate to have to even say this. I don't know. Someone, I don't, I don't even know if I should say it anymore. I almost don't know if I should care anymore. But if I stop caring, then I shouldn't, then I shouldn't be alive no more. I shouldn't be in this business no more. This is a corrupt sport. How one judge could have it four to one for can really? They should arrest that judge. And and and, they, and if, if, if we, I wish we had some kind of federal oversight like you had when baseball was having problems when football was having all of a sudden the, the federal government the federal government will look at it and they will get involved but what nobody cares about the fighters nobody cares about the sport it's, I'm being really serious that that you, you don't get any oversight there is no oversight who's going to look into it the sport takes care of itself you have separate commissions and I, I just, this is a case where I wish there was federal office. Not that I trust the government that much, but you know, when baseball was having trouble with steroids and, and when, uh, different situations in that sport, the federal government started talking about, oh, there's got to be you know, control, there's got to be oversights, there has to be things put in place. But nobody, nobody says that with boxing. And it needs to be said because no athlete risks themselves more and puts more on the line than fighters. And there's, there's no one looking to keep the sport clean. And again, what a travesty it would have been. Let's say that he continued to box. Let's say that, that Khan didn't get caught that punch. Oh my God, what a travesty it would have been to have him continue boxing that way and have him lose the fight. I mean, again, I'm gonna say it again. One judge had it for, two judges had Canelo ahead. And, and one judge had, had, had Khan ahead. But one judge had it four to one. I mean, how do you do that unless, I mean, really, how do you do that? Like I say on ESPN Friday Night Fights, or I used to say, that 
you know, it, it can only be one of two things. It can only be incompetence or corruption. And I don't believe anyone could be that incompetent not to see those rounds for what they were. It, it really, it's terrible. It's, it's just terrible that, that a great sport, great athletes to get in there and put so much on the line, that, that put their life on the line, that, that the people that are supposed to look out for the sport, the executives of the sport, the, the administrators of the sport, that they could be that corrupt and, and that, that poor and that bad. And something has to be done. And nobody's going to look at it. We're all going to celebrate the sensational knockout and say, hey, great, we're all excited. You know, and we're going to talk about Golovkin, we're going to talk about all these things. But what about that? What about the, the poor fighter coming down the pike that's going to win a fight? And the ones that aren't on HBO on pay-per-view, the ones that we don't see, that happen every week, that, that go out there and they give their all and they win a fight and they're ready to turn their life around and change their life for their family. They, and they got in there and they did it. And then all of a sudden... They get robbed. And we don't even talk about it. We don't even see it. But they feel it. Those fighters feel it. That's all I gotta say. Let me tell you.